All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Ralph Bouquet, and I am the Outreach Coordinator for Nova Labs. And uh, I'd like to thank you so much for tuning in to the Back to School webinar uh, for Nova Education. Uh, today, I'm actually joined by a special guest, uh, Nova's new, uh, Nova Education's new uh, production assistant. Uh, so, Daryl, introduce yourself. Sure. Uh, well, my name is Daryl Choa. I'm the new production assistant at Nova Education. Um, well, I'm originally from Newton, Massachusetts, but I spent my past four years over at UMass Amherst getting my Bachelor of Science in Biology and Psychology. All right, nice. Uh, so, really excited to have Daryl on the team. She's going to be uh, working with the uh, Nova Education team and producing a lot of our really cool, great uh, upcoming resources that we're going to talk about uh, during the next half hour or so. Uh, just, um, we're going to sort of do an overview of uh, some of the new resources that we've put together uh, for uh, teachers and students. Um, and we basically have created a new folder uh, that includes uh, links to the videos, uh, games and interactives, uh, articles, uh, lesson plans, and, and quite a few other resources that are available. Um, if you want to access them, so we've included a link in the description uh, of the Hangout that you can see if you go to the main Hangout page. But also, if you click on Showcase, uh, the Showcase button is uh, should be on the up, upper right-hand side of the screen. In this case, you can actually pull up um, sort of like a little gallery that li has links to all the resources. Uh, so that includes um, the actual folder that we'll be discussing, including links uh, to Nova Labs, Nova Education, and some of the other uh, programs and platforms that we'll be talking about uh, throughout this webinar. So definitely uh, check that out uh, if you want to sort of uh, keep track of what it is we're discussing. In addition, um, we also have uh, a little Q&A button. So if you click on this, you should see a question mark in the upper right hand corner. Uh, and that unlocks the uh, Q&A app, which lets you uh, submit questions that you may have uh, for Daryl uh, and me as we sort of go over uh, these resources. And so, um, yeah, and so that's the basic thing. Again, the showcase button, uh, you can see links to all the resources that we're talking about. And also in the description, this video if you're watching on YouTube uh, later on uh, you'll also see that uh, link uh, it should be in the bottom and in the description um, of this video uh, okay great um, and so I guess we just want to do a, a quick overview um, of uh, where all these uh, resources are so uh, there's sort of Nova the broadcast program but uh, Nova education works to sort of take uh, clips uh, and create resources uh, from these clips uh, that we make available for teachers to download on PBS Learning Media. So there's a lot of uh, sort of crazy different terminology and a lot of different platforms we'll be discussing. Uh, and so we're just going to start off with a quick overview of uh, what they are. And so I'm just going to open up the screen share here. And the first thing I want to talk about um, is sort of, Daryl will sort of take you through this, is sort of our new uh, updated website um, for Nova Education. So let's just hop over here. Okay, great. Okay, you should see the screen where we are right now, but let me hop over to uh, Nova Education. And again, um, if you follow the link in the description of this video, uh, you'll see this uh, folder that contains some of the resources that we'll be uh, talking about tonight. Um, so yeah, so here is our new website. So Daryl, can you just give us a sort of a brief overview? Sure. All right, so this is our newly renovated uh, Nova Education website. Um, this is what I've been using, and I think it's pretty easy to navigate. In the center here, we have a carousel, um, which if you're looking for our current and new resources, they should be all uploaded here. So if you're looking for something new, um, you'll be able to find it in the carousel here. Um, additionally, if you want to browse by topic, you can either uh, scroll down to the different education topics, um, or you can just click up top and it'll bring you down to the bottom of the page. And you can pick um, your lesson plan or look for videos based upon each of these categories. Um, or if you're looking for something specific, like if you want a grouped together lesson plan or if you want just certain videos, um, you can also look by format as well over here on the right hand side. Um, and if you want to just keep updated with what the current trends are um, in science, what the new findings are and what we're talking about, um, you can also follow some social media up here on top or follow our blog. Great. Thank you, Daryl. Um, and also in addition, uh, on the bottom too, there are also links to uh, Nova's other sites, um, including uh, labs, which we'll be talking uh, significantly about, uh, and Grow Science and Secret Life as well. So definitely uh, take note of that. Um, another platform that's really important 
uh, for us to discuss is uh, Nova Labs. So Nova Labs is our platform where we create uh, science games and interactives for middle and high school age students. Um, and so each one of them focuses on a core topic uh, and includes some sort of main game and interactive, but also includes videos that highlight the major uh, concepts of each uh, content area. And so right now we have six labs that are available. Um, and if you click on each one, uh, it'll sort of take you to uh, that where you can start playing the game, where you can take evolution video quizzes. We also have a really great section called Meet the Experts, where we profile uh, scientists um, and other uh, sort of professions who work uh, in that uh, in that content area. And there's also the video library. You can see all the videos uh, for the labs. Um, another tricky thing too, if uh, so, these videos that you see here on in the video in the video library for Nova Labs are also included. Uh, in PBS Learning Media, and they're also available on YouTube as well. So if you would like to embed them onto a site, um, say like your classroom site, you can embed them uh, from YouTube here. And so we have the, the full collection of videos there. Uh, and also in PBS Learning Media, uh, if you go to, if you type in Nova Labs, uh, you'll actually see our, uh, our main collection. Here's the collection right here, which contains uh, sub-collections of, uh, of each of the labs. And so here, for cybersecurity, for example, you can see a link to the game, uh, full lesson plan, um, uh, the videos, which also include uh, discussion questions and, um, and background essays and things like that. Um, and so uh, one of the key things I do want to talk about um, is sort of how to make PBS Learning Media like really effective and useful um, for you is to really make use of the favorites and the folders uh, features. So if you click on here in this dashboard, um, you can, uh, on each uh, resource that you find, uh, you should see like a little heart next to them. Um, that heart lets you add them to your favorites. And then when you go to the dashboard, you can then organize your favorites um, into folders. And so I can click on any of the favorites here um, and then click on add to a folder um, to actually create a folder for um, content area, I mean, it doesn't matter, whatever you're sort of interested in doing. Um, this is a really, really great tool to making sure that you can keep track of everything that you find and like on PBL Learning Media. So I definitely recommend um, that you create a profile. Um, again, it's completely free and it's a really great resource to, to organize all the, uh, all the great videos and games and interactives that you'll find uh, on this site. So definitely, uh, while you're doing, while you're sort of watching this webinar, if you see something that you like, um, and if you're logged in, definitely use the favorite um, button to, to add things to your favorites and then organize them uh, in folders later on. Um, and so we're gonna spend most of our, our time in this webinar uh, talking about and looking through uh, this PBS learning media folder that we've created. Uh, and so, um, and while we're doing that, I'll sort of jump to each resource and sort of give you a brief overview of, of, uh, of what they are. And so uh, let me just go to the main folder. So this is the main folder for this webinar. Um, and again, uh, one thing I really want to emphasize is this does not at all represent uh, the, the breadth of resources that are available uh, and produced by NOVA. So we just wanted to really uh, choose a sampling of some of our newest resources uh, for each one of these topics. And so here uh, we've picked about uh, three, three or four resources for each subject area. So uh, we have biology, chemistry, physics, environmental science, earth space science, uh, engineering design, computer science, math, and people in STEM. And so we'll just give you a snapshot of a sample resource. If you see something that you do like, I definitely recommend that you look at the related resources to see what else uh, is related, uh, what else, what other resources you can find that are uh, closely related uh, to that resource. Uh, a lot of these are also part of collections. Um, so for example, the evolution uh, game and the, the videos are all part of a larger collection that you can also browse as well. So definitely um, make use of that. And again, check out the showcase if you want to see some of the resources, uh, if you just want to see links to these resources. So um, the first resource I really want to talk about um, is the Evolution Lab. So the Evolution Lab uh, was launched in uh, late April. and the basic premise of it, and I'll just jump directly to uh, where it is. So the Evolution Lab um, is basically a game that teaches students about phylogeny and the relationships uh, between species and the history of life on Earth. And it's broken up into two main parts. Uh, one part is the game called Build a Tree. And so basically Build a Tree um, is a puzzle game in which students have to build a phylogenetic tree uh, using species and traits. And so in the game, you're actually, uh, you're given species and traits and you can click 
on a uh, on uh, a critter or a species because this also includes plants and bacteria as well and actually read more about them and then you have to figure out a way to actually design a phylogenetic tree that accounts uh, for uh, all these traits and so um, because this game is organized like a puzzle game it's really really great way to uh, to really engage students because it's so gamified uh, the missions are all organized around the key pieces of evidence revolution so we have missions like uh, fossils uh, DNA's role in evolution, biogeography, um, applications of phylogenetics to health, and also human evolution as well. So really, really great resource um, when you're teaching, for biology teachers, if you're teaching evolution this year, um, definitely recommend, I mean, probably will be, because uh, it's fundamental to biology. Um, but when you do get to this part, I definitely would recommend uh, using the evolution like game and also the videos as well. Um, Another part of the Evolution Lab that's really fun is the deep tree. So this is basically an interactive uh, tree of life. Uh, we've basically logged uh, over 70,000 species in this tree. And you can basically zoom in uh, and see how these numerous uh, uh, species are related to each other. And you can type in, students can actually type in and search uh, in an organism and see sort of where it is on the tree. And, Watch out, we're about to zoom in. This is like a crazy ride. But again, it's a really great way to sort of show the scope of deep time. Uh, and, uh, and it's really, really fun for, for a lot of students. So um, definitely check this out. And like, as you can see, this is taking forever. So let's just speed that up. All right, let's just get there. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so this is a really, really great resource um, for teaching evolution. Um, so for chemistry, one of the reasons I like to highlight is uh, Nova Elements. So Nova Elements is uh, both an interactive that's available on the on the web. Um, so we can launch it here. Um, oh, Unity Player, I need to install that. Sorry about that. <laughs> interactive uh, periodic table and also an iPad app. So uh, you can download the iPad app uh, from iTunes. Uh, if your students are using iPads, it's also available for the Microsoft uh, Surface. But essentially, it, it gives students uh, access to an interactive periodic table, which they can manipulate. Um, they can actually tap on any element and learn more about it, see where it's found. Uh, they can also do a molecular compound game that allows them to actually build uh, common molecular compounds. And there's also a build an atom game that really teaches them about the subatomic particles and how they're arranged. Uh, uh, and it also includes clips from Hunting the Elements, uh, the Nova series. So really, really great app. I mean, we've had, this is one of our, probably one of our best reviewed um, uh, interactives we've produced. And uh, we've had like over a million downloads um, of this app. But really, this is like the uh, go-to app for uh, chemistry teachers and, uh, and students. Um, another great resource, uh, so let's go hop on to physics. And again, uh, if you're just tuning in right now, these resources are all available in this PBS Learning Media folder um, right here, which you can access in the description of this video. And also, um, in the uh, there's also a link in the uh, showcase as well. So we're jumping around here. Um, and again, I'm only talking, highlighting about one uh, resource for, for each topic. Um, and so now to physics. Um, this is one of my favorite videos uh, from our uh, Rise of the Hackers series. Uh, our, uh, this video talks about uh, how we can use quantum physics to understand uh, this idea of quantum computing. Um, so this is definitely probably more appropriate for your higher level high school um, physics students. Um, but it's a really, really great sort of overview of uh, of quantum physics in a way that's pretty entertaining and, and also applies it to computing as well. So um, now let's jump over to Earth space science and I'll hand it over to uh, Daryl. Sure. Um, so this lesson plan I'm a little partial on. This is the first one that I've ever worked on. Worked on creating the activity sheet. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is a great resource. Um, just if you're you know doing a unit about planets or space science, um, I know you know, Pluto's not really a planet anymore, but you know, it still matters. And this video is really about why Pluto still matters in the scheme of things and talks about distinguishing um, planets between dwarf planets. Um, also really great resource to understand the, you know, relationship between mass and gravity. Uh, so there is an activity included with this resource. So if you scroll down the support materials, um, there's an activity listed, you know, how you can um, talk about the basic concepts and then watch the video um, and then use this activity to 
better understand the different relationships um, going, well, the relationship going on. Um, and then you also having the students discuss results afterwards, or maybe, you know, before the activity, have students make a prediction about what they think is going to happen, um, then going through the activity and then discussing their results. Cool. Great. Um, yeah, so that's for Earth Space Science. And again, uh, this is, I mean, from this uh, program, from Chase and Pluto, we actually uh, pulled quite a few other videos as well. So if you look here, even um, that you might also like, you can see some of the other resources um, that were pulled from that program uh, and also are really sort of related to Earth Space Science as well. So definitely use this feature to continue to explore it. Again, if you like something and you see it, uh, definitely favorite it and then add it to your folder so you can organize it and, and, uh, and go back to it later. Um, so another resource, um, this is one, uh, another resource from Nova Labs. So this is actually an interactive uh, that gives students access to uh, NASA's Earth Observing Satellite System. So uh, basically the, we developed this lab as a collaboration with NASA. And we, with this lab, students can actually track uh, weather uh, patterns and, and, and uh, that are happening anywhere around the world. And so this is real data um, that's, uh, that's uh, uploaded daily. Um, and it really gives access to basically all the weather that's happening anywhere around the world. So you students can zoom into their own neighborhood. Uh, they can add overlays to see uh, the changes in uh, water uh, vapor and, and temperature that are happening as time goes on. And basically, I mean, this is years and years of data um, that's uh, available at the, the student's fingertips. And uh, this resource also includes, if you go back to the PBSLM, lesson plan as well start a way in which they can uh, stop uh, losing users and they do that by preventing um, or by building basically strengthening their cyber defenses so in the process of playing this game students learn about how to avoid um, uh, how to avoid phishing scams, um, how to actually write uh, their introduced to code. Um, here's an example here of a social engineering challenge. Uh, just a little, a little intro. Um, but here's an example of a challenge where students are given two emails and they have to figure out how, uh, they have to figure out which one is most likely a, a, a phishing scam based on sort of the language and, and looking at details like uh, the emails, whether or not people are included, who's included in the email. So here's one warning sign that this email, the entire address book as opposed to one person, uh, misspellings, things like that. But it's a really good way to sort of introduce students to uh, how to stay safe online and sort of the best practices uh, for monitoring their online presence. Um, and so that resource is also available in PBS Learning Media, and there are videos along with it. The videos for this lab are really, really great. Um, they're really funny and talk about hacking, what hackers are, um, things that you can do to sort of keep your social media profile uh, from, uh, or how to build a social media profile that's like safe, um, but really, really good if you're doing like a lesson or, or a unit on like digital citizenship. Um, and yeah, Daryl, let's jump over to animals and numeracy. There we go. All right. 
Great. Thanks, Ralph. Um, so this lesson plan uh, is really great if you want to incorporate it into a, a math unit or even um, a biology unit if you're wanting to talk about a little bit about animal behavior and you know how um, we have some similar traits to animals. Uh, but this also is a really great video to watch. Uh, it's great for middle schoolers and high schoolers because who doesn't like watching animals doing human-like things? <laughs> um, so it's a really good video to watch. It also has um, an activity included. Um, so this video is about uh, primitive number sense, and there is an activity included for students to explore their own primitive number sense. Um, so for them to discuss afterwards, you know, whether or not it was easier for them to identify if, you know, some blocks had um, more objects or less and talk about what made it easier or harder and what kind of interferes with their primitive number sense and um, what are tools they can use for estimating as well. Um, and like Ralph said before, um, there are similar videos over to the side usually um, that you can look at um, from the same uh, documentary broadcast. One really cool thing too, uh, one of my favorite uh, resources for this program is actually the ancient math and music. So this video actually features Esperanza Spalding talking about uh, the math that's sort of innate to music. Really, really cool clip. Um, so definitely uh, choose that and, and try to use that in your classroom. Uh, shout out to Esperanza Spalding if, 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 if she's watching. Um, I don't think she is, but, uh, but yeah, great, great clip and really, really fun. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Great. So this uh, last resource we're going to be talking about um, is one of my favorites to watch. Um, so this is a video about Neil deGrasse Tyson and how he got interested in science. And it's um, part of this series that we have called The Secret Life of Scientists and Engineers, which is a really great uh, website to explore. It's something that we're going to be promoting the next few months. Um, but if you want to check out that website, um, it has a whole bunch of uh, videos and links to different biographies of different scientists from all different backgrounds with all different interests and all sorts of weird quirky hobbies you know their secrets they talk about um, so it's a great resource to look at um, especially if you're trying to encourage your students to um, be in um, STEM careers it's a good way to show that there is no really stereotypical scientist um, that anyone can be a scientist and anyone who's a scientist is interested in a lot of different things um, so it's, I really recommend if you're gonna watch this video and use this resource to also check out that website and look at other resources as well um, on this particular resource, there's a lot of suggestions on how to use this video. Um, so there's discussion ideas, there's um, questions to talk about, there's a great background essay about Neil here. Um, again, there's also resources for teachers, you know, how you can talk about this in your classroom. Um, and there's also an extension activity at the end. So afterwards, um, if you want students to go home and you know individually think about their own STEM careers and what they could potentially be interested in, um, this is a good kind of takeaway from the whole thing. But I definitely recommend checking out all the other videos. They're really fun to watch. Um, maybe having watch them and see, you know, what do the sciences have in common? Um, what don't they have in common? Um, which ones do they find particularly surprising? Which ones stood out to them? Um, it's definitely a really great website to visit. So the secret life of scientists and engineers. Yeah, uh, yeah, and I definitely want to emphasize like how important these videos are um, with regards to uh, just showing the, I mean, the, the huge amount of diversity uh, that exists within STEM careers and reinforcing how important it is for, for students to be able to see people who, who look like them. Um, and uh, who are doing like such amazing work. And another cool thing, I, I just forgot to mention this actually, but I just, I just noticed this. Um, a lot of some, of some of these videos are also available in Spanish as well. Um, and so if you click here, you can actually uh, convert uh, the videos to Spanish. And a lot of them are captioned in Spanish. So uh, that's just something to consider as well if you're looking uh, for these resources. And there, there'll be a notation for all the ones that are already converted um uh on the on each uh, resource page um great so yeah so that's um basically sort of a quick overview of some of the resources that are available and again um if you're just tuning in all the resources that we're sharing right now um are available in the folder that you can access in the description of this video um so if you click uh if you go back to the main page um, for this uh, Google Hangout, you'll see that uh, link in the description. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you can just click uh, below the video um, in the description. You'll see the link there. Um, and if you're watching sort of in this uh, in the Hangout viewer, 
um, just click on showcase and you can see a full list of links to all the resources that we're talking about. And so um, right now, I just want to see if uh, anybody has any questions. Um, and if anybody submitted, it looks like I think we're all good. Um, but, um, but definitely, again, if you do want to follow up with us, uh, follow up with us, um, you can find us on Twitter um, at Nova Education and also on Facebook, uh, Nova Education. Um, and so, one of the to, to close off, to, just to finish off, uh, I just wanted to quickly uh, do a brief overview of some of the upcoming resources um, that we're going to be working on uh, for the uh, for the fall. Um, and so, let me just jump to one of the ones that I'm really excited about. Um, so gross science. So this is just like, this is really awesome. Um, so gross science is a new series uh, produced uh, by Anna Rothschild, uh, one of our uh, digital producers uh, at Nova. And basically in her series, she just uh, profiles some of the, just the craziest, weirdest, like grossest things you can think about in science. And so uh, just to give you a quick, <laughs> taste of what it is you're in store. I mean, we have everything from uh, fish poop and white sand beaches to the Black Plague, uh, to slime clothing, uh, to one that's particularly disgusting, uh, the tonsil sun video, uh, which is actually one of our most popular ones. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean, I'll let you check this out for yourself. There's a really uh, yeah, gross uh, intro to this video. So uh, definitely check that out. Um, in addition, but yeah, we're also going to, the videos are currently all available on YouTube. We're actually going to be working on uh, bringing some of these videos to PBS Learning Media as well with resources like discussion questions um, and uh, background essays and links to other resources as well. Um, and so another great resource um, um, is uh, Making with America. Um, so Making North America is a three-part series that we're airing in November. Um, and basically the series will sort of give an overview of the geological history uh, that shapes uh, North America. Uh, everything from, um, um, from the eruptions to like the shifting of the tectonic plates um, to flooding and ice sheets. I mean, it covers a huge range of uh, geological uh, forces that have shaped uh, uh, this continent. Um, it's hosted by uh, Kirk Johnson uh, from the Smithsonian, and it's a really engaging series. Um, really, really cool uh, footage, too. I mean, we go to some of the great landmarks uh, that you'll see uh, in America. Um, but definitely recommend checking out. The trailer is now available uh, on uh, YouTube as well. Um, so if you go to Nova's YouTube page, um, you'll actually see them uh, there, uh, and I can just jump there right now. Um, another announcement, oh, airing tonight uh, is Dawn of Humanity, so you may have seen uh, some news about it in the New York Times, airing tonight, uh, definitely check that out. Um, but uh, let me see here, the preview, yes, so here's the Make North America sneak peek. Definitely check this out. Um, this is, we're gonna be doing a lot of, a lot of, uh, outreach around this uh, program. Um, we'll also be doing hosting some screenings as well. Um, so definitely, if you're not following uh, NOVA or NOVA Education, definitely make sure to do so on Facebook and Twitter just so you can see if there are any events coming close to you. I know we have some events scheduled in Houston, in California, um, in San Francisco, rather, in California, um, and quite a few other sites as well, uh, in Boston as well. So definitely check uh, and, and follow us on uh, Twitter and Facebook. Um, to make sure that you're uh, aware of what's going on around this. And there'll also be a lot of uh, video clips and discussion questions, and we also have a really cool interactive coming out as well. Um, yeah, and I think that's about it. Um, again, I just want to remind you, if you're not already following us on Facebook and Twitter, to do so. And also, if you want to sort of get a weekly, or sorry, a monthly update of all the great cool things we're producing, uh, Nova Education, subscribe. If you go to the, our shirt to enter your email address, subscribe uh, to our monthly newsletter. So every month, at the beginning of every month, we send out a newsletter that has all the newest resources, the resources that we've produced, um, uh, a brief schedule of the programming that's going to be happening that month, um, and links to some of the uh, blog content and uh, the other uh, cool content that we're producing. And so um, I think that's about it. Let me just uh, jump back to us all right 
Hey, everybody. Um, but again, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, again, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to, uh, um, to hit us up on Twitter, uh, at Nova Education. Um, also, uh, for the labs questions, if you ever want to, if you ever have an issue with the labs or have a question about the labs, uh, um, we're at the, uh, and again, you can find all this information in the description of this uh, article. Make sure to include links to those social media uh, uh, profiles in the description of this webinar, rather. Um, but again, thank you again for tuning in. I um, just wanted to check if there are any more questions, but I haven't seen anything so far. Uh, and again, if you all these resources please uh, check out the description um, of this video and uh, and yeah definitely uh, hit us up and let us know what's happening and uh, again we also really love feedback so if you would like to um, get more involved with Nova Education we do have a an advisor uh, teacher advisory group uh, and we work with teachers to uh, design resources to get feedback on them um, so if you would like to um, hit us up about that, uh, you can email us at novaeducation at wgbh.org. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a great night, everyone. And again, uh, have a great school year. Thanks. Bye. Bye.